Okay, so we're out here in the garden. We're going to be doing a little tour of where we're going to be putting our beds. Right here, we're going to be putting, putting two beds, both 3 by 42, which is roughly the length of the poly house. Maybe a little bit shorter, but they're going to be just as long so we can connect the rest of the irrigation system line out to it. We just put an irrigation system in this past year. Here's some of it with the valves to each section of drip line. And these beds with the romaine and spinach and more romaine. These are going to have tomatoes in it in the next two months. And on the other side here, this is all garlic, so this won't be ready to harvest until about June to early July. So we won't be messing with this for a while. And we got this open area I haven't decided what to do with yet. It's got some cilantro and a couple of dead pepper plants. And these other beds here is where we're going to be also growing tomatoes. Both these beds. I have onions in this bed right here. But we'll harvest those soon and we'll get this all cleaned up in the next month. And then this bed as well. We got to cover a crop of radishes to aerate the soil a little bit more. And then I, I really love potatoes, so right here, this open field, I'm going to put another small bed to put potato boxes in. And here in the secret garden. This is where I grow stuff that I usually eat, or flowers or something. So dead basil, bunch of seeds on it. I need to harvest. Oh great, the chickens are in the garden. That's not good. I mean, I just don't care. I, th I guess it'll be alright. Everything's mostly dead. I just don't want them in the greenhouse. Can I? I usually don't like them in the garden area at all because they eat stuff that I don't want them to. They scratch it all up. Oh, that's not hanging out my nose. <laughs> 